Good morning folks, good morning folks, good morning folks. Welcome along to the vlog on a Monday. Well this morning I've walked into the brewery and I realised that I have got at least 10 projects on the go at the same time. So I think that this week we're going to have to get many of them knocked off the list so we can concentrate on uh, on the important ones such as getting this pilot kit finished and uh, or started even and getting these tanks finished so the weekend went well we've got the sliding wardrobe in the bedroom now and it's operational just a few finishing touches um, I wasn't pleased with the finish that the eggshell paint gave me so we've decided to hit it all with a bit of gloss after all and that should then uh, tidy up all the edges and everything and I'm really pleased actually how it's turned out but I do have a couple of extra strips that I need to put in place to cover up like the sliding rails and other pieces so um, and some drawers as well to do so I'm definitely going to just get all the timber work finished hopefully today and then we can tidy the shop up and get back on with what we're doing in the brewery so one of the first jobs I'm going to attack is unpacking all the tools that I took home with me over the weekend and then uh, finish cutting the odds and ends of timber that I'm going to require and then hopefully we can get this tidied up. I mean, if I just give you a sweeping shot around the workshop, you'll see that I've basically spray painted the floor white. Maybe I should have put more dust sheets down. And uh, my welding table's now white, but that will clear up no problem. And not take long for this to wear away. And of course, the table saw's a little bit white and then the rest of it has a light coating of dust everywhere so yeah I really need to get all of this cleaned up but not until I've cut the extra bits of timber that I need talk about distractions folks how many projects have I got going yeah too many anyway I'm in the middle of cutting this timber as you can see we've got some of it here and the uh, my herpes delivery man has just arrived with a parcel from Shenzhen, China and in it is a brew pump so this brew pump is identical to the brew pump 3000 and everything else the Diablo from Angel Homebrew blah de blah so when I went online recently they didn't have any in stock at Cake Kingdom or anywhere else so I thought let's take a punt and go directly to China and I paid 40 quid for this so of course it has uh, what looks like an EU plug on it but that's not a problem we're snipping that off anyway and wiring it in hard wiring in it wiring it in hard and of course it's got the stainless steel head on it so I'm really pleased with that so like I say we have two of them uh, way up nearly just have one then we've got two of them the other ones in here Cheddar. so I'm gonna pop them outside keep them covered up for now because well they are gonna get covered in dust otherwise and uh, I'll continue with the joinery
Well, we've got most of the timber work completed. Uh, we just have to obviously clad the tanks. Gemma's just put in some edge sealant on a couple of these pieces of kit. But this is a little cabinet I've made for the computer to sit in. The little slide out. Keyboard job there. The computer tower will sit in there. And then this is going to go at the side of the wardrobes that we've got. Should all be the same size and linked together. And then getting back to these tanks, in order to obviously complete these tanks, I need to put some rings around the top here so that they are identical to these tanks with the rings on the top. Uh, so they've arrived. These were rolled by a company in Newcastle. And the uh, only thing I'm disappointed about is that they've cut the ends. I wanted them to be left on and over rolled just to take up any slack and I've cut them off but unfortunately they've decided to do it. So I've got the welder set up. I don't have much gas so I might not get much of this done today. But we're just going to tack them on quite frankly. I don't need to fully weld them all. And then, uh, well I will at some point have to fully weld them otherwise we may end up with uh, cleaning products down the back of the timber which is something that I definitely don't want. But we'll see how we get on with what's left in the tank. Obviously we are right down, we're right down on the gauge now and uh, there's not a lot of, oh gosh, well, not a lot in there at all. I don't know if I've just broken that. <laughs> there we go. Oh. Look at him, he's just jumped up to 900 psi, maybe it's the gauge that's knackered. And we have got loads in there. I'll keep going anyway. <laughs> Might be the gauge. So yeah, I'm going to jump up, got the welder. Going to give the Lincoln Electric Visor a, t a run for its money. Hey, it's even got a GoPro mount on the top, look at that. And on the side as well. So we might be able to get some GoPro welding action. I haven't got a GoPro that works though, so maybe not. Anyway, digressing, let's weld. previous one. So we've got the weld done. Looks good. I'm happy with it. We put the supports on the side. Trouble is one of them was too big and I got a little bit brutish with the hammer and it broke on this knot but it's still in there solid so I might leave it. I might cut another piece. Probably cut another piece just so I know the peace of mind. But that's it. So I'm waiting for the family to pack up over here and then we're going to shoot home because I'm knackered. So come on Jem, I know I've slave laboured you on your birthday, but uh, what are you eating my cereals now? Got some cereals. Right, I'm off. Are you coming? I was going to put some stuff on there. Some stuff? Primer. Alright, well. You can you go keep and take working. Abby part, yeah? No, I want to stay here. Oh, fair enough. <laughs> I want to stay in here. God, that's a first, isn't it? Anyway, I'm done. I'm off. I'm going home to edit the vlog and lay down. This heat is killing me. It's 26 degrees in the bro today. And that is hot. Everything's struggling to keep cool. So they're all obviously taking heat out of the tanks and pumping it into the brewery, making it even hotter. I just need a cold shower, so I think that's what I'm going to go and do. We'll see you tomorrow.